Welcome. Let's take a look at evaluating a couple of hyperbolic functions. The first function is f of x equals 3 times cosh of 2x, and we want to find f of the natural log of 4. So let's remind ourselves that cosh of x is equal to e to the x plus e to the negative x all divided by 2. So if I were to use that information, I could rewrite my f of x function as 3 times e to the 2x plus e to the negative 2x all divided by 2. So that's our function f of x, and now we want to evaluate that at the natural log of 4. So f of the natural log of 4 would be 3 times e to the 2 times natural log of 4 plus e to the negative 2 times natural log of 4 all divided by 2. Now we need to take advantage of a property of logarithms. So recall that um, log base b of x to the n power can be rewritten as n times log base b of x. That is that the exponent in a logarithm can um, be turned into a coefficient or a multiplier and vice versa. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this 2 in our coefficient uh, in our exponent and put it back into, if you will, the logarithm. So we're going to end up with f of the natural log of 4 is equal to 3 times e to the ln of 4 squared plus e to the ln of 4 to the negative 2 power, all divided by 2. Now recall that um, the exponential function and the logarithm function are inverse functions. That is, if we have e to the natural log of x, that is equal to x. Also, if we have the natural log of e to the x, that equals x. And that's because the two functions are inverses. So taking advantage of the, the inverse property between the two functions, f of the natural log of 4 is going to equal 3 times uh, e and ln are inverses, so I'm going to get 4 squared. And e and ln are inverses, so I'm going to get 4 to the negative 2 power all over 2. So finishing this up, f of the natural log of 4 is 3 halves times 4 squared is 16. Um, 4 to the negative 2 power is 1 over 16. And so f to the of the natural log of 4 is equal to, using the distributive property, uh, 48 over 2 plus 3 over 32, ln of f of ln of 4, uh, 48 over 2 is 24, and 3 30 seconds. As 48 over 2 simplifies to 24. Let's take a look at our second example. We have f of x is equal to 2 times tanch of 3x 
And what we want to do is find f of 0. Now there's uh, two ways we could approach this. Let's go ahead and for the first strategy, let's think of f of x as 2 times cinch of 3x over cosh of 3x. And then let's go ahead and find um, f of 0. That would be 2 times cinch, 3 times 0 is 0, over cosh of 3 times 0, which is 0. <clears throat> now we need to know what cinch and cosh of 0 are. Cinch of 0 is e to the 0 minus e to the negative 0 over 2, which is 1 minus 1 over 2, which is 0. And cosh of 0 is e to the 0 plus e to the negative 0 over 2, which is 1 plus 1 over 2, which is 1. So we could say that f of 0 is 2 times 0 over 1, which is 0. So we could use the ratio relationship between cinch and cosh to find f of 0. Now let's do this again, but we will use the exponential form. So if I remember the exponential form for tanch, I could, rather than using cinch and cosh, do f of x equals 2 times, um, then it's the e to the 3x minus e to the negative 3x over e to the 3x plus e to the 3x. Again, using the relationship we know about tanch, that it's e to the x minus e to the negative x over e to the x plus e to the negative x. Simply replacing um, x with our argument that needs to be 3x. So then f at 0 would be 2 times e to the 3 times 0 is 0 minus e to the negative 3 times 0, which is 0, over e to the 3 times 0 is 0. I lost my negative sign there. Plus e to the negative 3 times 0, so e to the negative 0. So simplifying all these e to the 0 power, we have 1 minus 1 in our numerator, 1 plus 1 in our denominator. So we get 2 times 0 over 2, which is 0. I hope this helps.